Yes, my G's. What's good? We are back today because I'm going to go through our Musical Freedom 7, 8, 9, 10 sample pack and create a track from it to show you you need to get a copy yourself. Big up to you lot for tuning in and I am going to dive in. So, I've had a flick through the little pack and there's lots on there. We actually went really, really in on this pack with the drums especially. Why don't we start with the drums? So, we've got all these different beautiful kits here. Oh, by the way, I've done some prep on the session. So I've got, I've got three buses. You can see, I can, hang on. I can send each track to the buses. A is a uh, short reverb. So it all sounds like it's in the same room. B is my trusty EP34 tape delay with a bit of reverb to spread it so it's not so mono. And C is a parallel compression to slam what needs to be slammed. All right, let's get a drum groove down. I've got a limiter on the Master 2, so everything's prepped. I've saved it. It's at 125. I think that's good. We can sweep that later if it's a bit slow or fast anyway. But off we rock and roll. So I'm just going to do an 8-bar loop. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to say there's a better hat. Well, I say better, more fitting for what I'm actually after. Uh, I don't want four, I just want one. Um, I'm going to try that. And again, I don't know if you've seen previous videos of studio stuff we've done, but... Getting a vibe, like, I'm not precious about stuff. So I'm going to chuck a bunch of stuff in that I think might work together and then go from there with it. That. Yeah, that's good. So... What I don't like is the tail on it, so I'm just going to shorten that a little bit. Nice. And then get rid of the tail on this bit as well. And then basically I've just created a new... Um, what am I doing? That to there. I just want to create my own um, loop so I can control the, like, the tail end of it, basically. So we've got... Not like that at all. No, it's not how you do it. Right, let's do that. So that. I'm going to make transit on this shorter. sub underneath it so I'm just gonna get the last quarter and fade that sort of tail up make it into a new loop so you hear like you see a lot of the stuff there is starting points so like that kick this is wicked but I wanted the separation so there was no sub in the way um but so. Kicks a bit woody for what I'm after. Let's try that one. Cool. C 
obviously with that I like the s -s -s -s. so I'm just gonna grab that and get rid of that one and repeat and with this it's gonna sound really flat but with a little bit of trickery you can sort that so I'm gonna EQ it and then LFO it and go back in see if I can sort this stupid click there you go, that's white it's in there there you go cool and we'll get on to that in a minute Groovy, groovy, like cool. Like, look, it's super simple, but right now I don't actually need anything more than that. We've got our drum loop sorted, and I'm gonna now look into the shots. Second, my sample is far too big. So the nice thing with these buses, look, bit of reverb, bit of delay. Nice sound there. Um, what's a nice bass sound too? That's nice, and this is where you it takes a bit of work because you know that that was cool, but it's so obvious. I don't want to do obvious with it, I want to have some a bit, a bit like you know, a bit more character. So, let me process this space a little bit and then we'll see what, what we can do with it. I'm gonna put this on. So my quantize is not on 100% for years that are interested because I want to keep the groove what I played. You see how it's not on the grid really except for a couple. That's the groove baby. Thank you. 
So this riff here is the kind of thing that, um, what am I saying? All right, yes, this riff is the kind of riff that if your dance floor was drugged up, you would use this as the lead. So I want to give it a bit of flavour that activates the drugs, basically. <laughs> I think even a second sound with that would be really cool. What sound, I don't know yet, but let's have a look. Let's try this bell. So it's an F sharp bell, so I need to... So it's a little what I can do, make the MIDI really small. Cool. Something. So B, down one. 
something strange is happening to my heart. Some, some heart. Oh. No, that's not working. into a endless smiles this plugin is such a basic beach plugin but it's so good it's so good like a quick solution to then redo it <laughs> Right, peoples, this is what we've made in the short time. It's super basic, there's not loads going on, but it's a classic house vibe from the Musical Freedom pack. We've not even touched the vocals in the pack, along with a bunch of other stuff not even looked at, but let's see what we've conjured up. <laughs> Chuff with that for a quick idea it's got a little vibe right go grab your copy of the pack now it's out everywhere the link if you're watching on youtube will be below if you're watching on another platform it will be somewhere don't worry big up my g's thank you for tuning in and we will see you soon big up